Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today I wanted to take a few minutes to look at the what's up meter and go over why it's important for portable operations. Stick around, we'll get right to it. So up until uh, earlier this year, I had always used SLA batteries in the past. I guess I've been using those for the last couple of years. And with SLA batteries, uh, it was pretty easy to kind of know the condition of your battery. Well, not necessarily the condition, but the level of your battery uh, as you continued operating throughout the day. You could see a steady voltage decline with the SLA batteries and know roughly uh, how much you had left in the battery and how much you had already consumed. One of the things that I found when I swapped to the decodium lithium iron phosphate battery was that voltage curve was no longer useful information in determining how much power was left in the batteries. So if you don't know, the lithium iron phosphate batteries uh, have a very steep voltage drop right at the very end of the battery. So they'll stay up above 12 volts uh, until you've used probably around 90 to 95 percent of the battery, somewhere along in that range anyway. And then once that battery starts dropping off, uh, it, it's a cliff dive of voltage. So there's really no way to look at the voltage of the battery and know how much life you've got left in it. So I had to start looking at alternate uh, solutions to give me that information. And what I found was these what's up meters. Uh, so this meter plugs up. Uh, you can look there on the screen and see that one side is labeled source and one side is labeled load. Uh, so you plug that up in line with your power and the meter gives you a lot of information. So if you look at the top right of the uh, meter display, right now you can see my battery level is at 13.15 volts. Uh, the top left is the current amp draw uh, that, I'm, that I'm consuming out of the battery right now. So we're at 0 0.8, 0 0.81 amps, somewhere right around in there, so just under one amp. And the bottom right tells us the uh, current watts that we're pulling out of it. Now the bottom left, you'll notice it rotates through to give you a lot of uh, cumulative information. So what you've drawn out of the battery over a period of time. And that's really helpful um, to keep up with how much power is left in your battery. So if you watch as it cycles through, you'll see that I've used uh, just under half a uh, amp hour of power out of this battery in the period of time that I've had this connected. So if you're out operating portable and you keep this thing connected, if you know you've got a 10 amp hour battery, uh, then I know that I'm going to get somewhere in the lithium iron phosphate batteries, I can discharge that to about 90, maybe 95 percent. Uh, typically I find about 90 percent is all I want to discharge that. Uh, but once you've consumed nine amp hours based on the meter, you know that, uh, that the battery is pretty much dead. Back during field day, uh, running at lower power settings, I think I was able to get 9.3 amp hours out of this particular battery here. Now, here's something else that's really cool about the meter. You can also plug this up between your solar panel and your battery to know what kind of power you're getting out of your solar panel at that given minute. Give me just a second and I'm gonna rewire this thing into the solar panel. Okay, so now we're using the what's up meter connected. Uh, the source side actually is going to the solar panel now and the load side is going toward the battery. It's actually going towards the solar charge controller. But now this is giving me the information that I want to know of what's coming out of my solar panel. So it's still fairly early in the morning here, but you can see I'm already getting roughly uh, three quarters of an amp hour out of the panel. And uh, I've got about 14 volts coming out of it. So it's plenty to charge the battery. It's not gonna be a super quick charge right now, but it's uh, definitely enough to charge the battery. Now, currently I only have one of these meters, but I may go ahead and pick up a second one. Uh, right now I basically have to choose, do I wanna know what's coming out of the battery or do I wanna know what's going into the battery? 
it might be super helpful to have two of those and connect one of them to each side, the incoming and the outgoing on the battery. Another way this can be used is if you plug it back up the way we had it to begin with and you key the radio, you can kind of measure the amp draw of your radio using this meter. So it's not uh, super precise probably, but uh, for a quick analysis in the field, it's a pretty handy little device to have with you. Requires no batteries. It runs uh, off of the power that's fed into it, either from the battery or from the solar panel. And I've had no issues feeding it with the small 30-watt uh, power film panel that I currently have. Now, one thing that I did have to do when this thing first came in, uh, it came with bare wires, so I just went ahead and added the power pole connectors. Hey, don't forget to give us a thumbs up before you head off, and go ahead and click that subscribe button. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.